Hi there. I'm here with a short practice. Please join me if you have any props. Uh, grab what you need and let's start sitting. If you want to sit up on something, you might grab a blanket or a block or whatever you need to sit comfortably and we'll begin with eyes closed. So you can settle in. Start to slow down your breath. In these first few moments of class, we can really just let go of all the doing. Allowing yourself to fully arrive in right now, just being in your body, feeling your breath. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus. And feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you throughout the practice. We're going to take the right arm up, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow, and take it back as far as you can. As you do this, you might shift around a little bit, just exploring what it's like to be in your body in this shape right now. Release right arm up, open it out, take it across, and then hook with the other arm. Hug it in and close it can. And then release arm out, rotate thumb to point down, take it around behind your back, interlace fingers at your waist, and then pull the knuckles around. Elbows go towards one another. And then circle your right shoulder, just putting a little movement in a place that might be creaky or tight here. And then reach both arms back and fold forward any amount. Breathing into the shape you're in, feeling your body right where you are. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. And roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. And then we'll take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow and take it back. You might try and drop the ribs, draw the belly in. Release arm up, take it out, and then all the way across, hook with the other arm and hug it in close. Release arm out, thumb points down, wrap it around. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top. Elbows go towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Let's reach both arms back, folding forward any amount. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Let's roll back up and bring the feet to the floor, hip width apart. We'll shift hands to the floor in front of the feet and take a little rock front to back. As you rock your weight forward, you can look for a stretch through the toes. As you rock back, getting into calves, ankles, Achilles tendon. And then drop the heels, lift the hips, come back to hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. And take any arm position, any movement. And then pull.
plant your hands near the front of your mat and we'll step back into a high push-up position, plank pose. Feel the strength of your body, the underside lifting you up. Feel the top of your head connected to your heels, your whole body in a straight long line. And then shift your weight forward to lower down, low push-up. Come into your back bend, cobra or up dog, as low or high as feels right for you. Testing the waters on this first one. How does this feel in your body? And then back to down dog, hips high. You might pedal out your feet a little bit, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Waking up the backs of the legs. And then drop your knees and sink back to child's pose. Re-establishing a sense of ease, letting go into the floor. Nice, slow, deep breaths. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And then back to center. We'll lift up through table. Come back to downward facing dog. This time from down dog, let's take the right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles both directions. And then a big step forward, high lunge, inhale, arms up. Sink low. To a twist here. We'll bring the left elbow across to the outside of the right knee, working palms towards the center of the chest, opening up through the top shoulder. If there's a different variation of this you would prefer, you are welcome. Please work with your body. Last breath here. Let's release hands to the floor, drop the back knee. If you want to pad your knee, you might roll up the side of your mat or put a cushion under it. We're going to take the hips back and if you do have blocks, you may want to grab them. Inch the front foot forward, flex the toes back. Coming into your hamstring stretch. And just like each pose, we're just going in a series of directions. Here, going towards hip square towards a flat back, towards folding, towards a straight leg. And none of those things need to be present. You're just going towards. And some of you might go towards splits. If you wanna slide the front heel further forward, you're going in these directions until you meet your edge. And then however that looks is the way it should look. However that feels is the way it should feel. And so the real work is, can I be with this? Can I feel what's here and allow it? If you did slide forward, slide your way back. Bring both hands to the inside, turn out through the right foot, and then shift weight forward. You can come down onto your elbows, either on blocks or the floor, lizard pose. If you would like to add a quad stretch to this, you can bend the back leg, reach back for it and draw it in. If that does not work for your body, don't do it and don't worry about it. Let's release and make our way back 
to down dog. You might take a vinyasa to get there. You could just step back. Or maybe some other movement you'd like to take. Working with your body, doing what feels right for you. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Exploring your full range of motion, feeling what this is stirring up in you. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. And then a big step forward, high lunge, inhale, arms up, and then come into a twist, right elbow across. And if there was a different variation you took on the other side, you're welcome to do that again. Last breath here. Release, hands to the floor or to your blocks. Drop the back knee, pat it if you like. Come back for a hamstring stretch. Going to your edge. Breathing there and really listening. If at any point you wanna go a little deeper, you're welcome and if you wanna back out, you're welcome. If you did slide forward into splits, you might try that again, but listening to your body. If you did slide forward, slide your way back. Bring both hands to the inside, turn out through the left foot, and shift your weight forward, coming down for lizard. And you can add the quad stretch if you did on the other side. You can explore with little shifts of weight. Make your way back to down dog. Feeling what you're doing. And then let's come all the way through to sitting and back onto our backs. You can bring knees in, take a little circle or rock with your knees. Let's drop the feet to the floor, getting set up for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel, lift the hips when you're ready. Interlace fingers behind your back, shrugging your shoulders underneath you. And you take your hips a little higher, last couple seconds. And you relax your face even more. Take your arms out of your way, roll down and rest. Hmm. Happy baby, grab the soles of the feet on the inside. Press your knees towards the floor. And feel free to take a little rock. You might straighten your legs. And then come back to some neutral shape where you can just check in with your body. Is there anything that you would like to finish up with before taking your final rest? Or would you prefer to shut off the video and keep going on your own? 
If you are ready to come into Shavasana, take your time, get as comfortable as you can. You can add support under your legs, you can cover up with a blanket or more layers. When you're ready, let go of the control of your breath. <sighs> totally releasing back. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again and let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. Coming back to a comfortable cross-leg position. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.